Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be doing our President Donald Trump versus our um, everyone's favorite spiritual guru, Marianne Williamson of the Democrats. If you watch the debates, you already know who I'm talking about. Now, I'm trying to be fair to all sides here. I really don't think that there's a shot for Williamson to crack 200 in this election. But we're going to fill out every state and see what happens. She'll take California. All the wacky hippies, uh, nut jobs there will come out and vote for her. Uh, she'll win Hawaii as well. Donald will take Alaska. He's also going to take Oregon because the third party vote is going to um, really come out and hurt Williamson. You're probably going to see Howard Schultz come out, come out of the woodwork here and run. So I do think she would win Washington, though. I think she'd win Washington probably by around four to five points. Uh, and Trump would take the Trump states, you would assume. Even Nebraska's second district going safe for Donald. Uh, Texas, Arizona going safe. In the state of Nevada, Trump will win it probably likely. And to Colorado, he'll win it with a lean margin because everyone there is high. They're going to come out and turn out for Marianne. Uh, Trump in New Mexico, I think he'll win it in a tilt in the tilt column. He'll win the Deep South safe, oh, not Arkansas. Nope, this isn't 1996 anymore. Um, Indiana, Ohio will be safe. Michigan likely. Pennsylvania likely. Wisconsin likely. Minnesota. They, lo they love weirdos, though, so it's going to be close because they love weirdos. But Trump will take Minnesota. Illinois should be likely for Marianne. Uh, Trump will take Georgia probably by a likely margin. Uh, pursuer. He's been winning by a safe margin. He'll win Florida by a safe. I, I don't know if she exactly endorses socialism to turn off the Cubans, but uh, Hispanics in places like Florida really are turning in Trump's favor. I saw a couple videos of the rallies down for Trump outside of the Dem debates. They were all... Uh, mainly, like 90% of them were Hispanics that were out there supporting our president. So I think that Florida is going to be safe if he runs against somebody like Marianne. And same thing with uh, North Carolina. It went for Bush by like 12 points. So I, th I think it could go safe. I, I just don't think Marianne's brand of anything, uh, anything she's going to push is really going to be helpful. And the third party vote is going to be key in place like Virginia. Trump will win it. By around three to four points, it'll be in the lean column, and he will take Virginia. Marianne will take D.C., Maryland, Delaware. Delaware will go for her lean, but Donald Trump is, is going to pull off New Jersey. Uh, I, I, I don't think that he would be able to do it in a normal circumstance because there's going to be a third-party vote. He will take the state there. Also, we forgot to do this. There we go. Perfect. Uh, New York will be likely... No, New York will be safe still. Um, Connecticut will go for Trump, though. A and Rhode Island will, too, in this case. Simply for the fact third-party voting trends, Trump uh, trended 12% Rhode Island in his favor in the net gain for him over the 2012... The, uh, from the 2016 to back to the 2012, he gained a total of, I believe, 12 to 14 points off that margin. It was a 27-point win for Obama in 2012. Then in 2016, Hillary only won it by 14 or 15. So it's going to trend that will continue in the state of Rhode Island. Now in Massachusetts, um, Marianne will take it. It will go to her by over 10. But Trump will win a county in Massachusetts if he goes against Marianne. That I can tell you. Vermont th Vermont will go to her safe. I think there are a lot of uh, people will write in Bernie again, but I, it, it's Vermont is just one of the most liberal. It's a liberal paradise in their eyes, even though there's things like the opioid epidemic that go on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, New Hampshire will go for Trump, likely. Um, Maine at large as well. And Maine 2nd District safe, Maine's 1st District probably tilt. So that's the map. Trump will win 388 to 150. Um, again, I try to be unbiased here. I just can't see if you watch this debate and you take this woman seriously, I, I you just can't. She, she's not going to be able to win. Uh, a lot of uh, Democrats and Hillary 
voters from 2016 won't turn out for her. There's no way she's going to get the nomination. I just did this video for fun because of just the fact that just the concept of this election would be hilarious. Um, she definitely get the vote of the people that were like hippies, uh, people that get high all the time. That's why Colorado is so close. But other other than that, I, th I think it would be a total disaster for the Democrats if they ran <laughs> this woman to be their ticket. They weren't. They're not going to do it. But hey, they're crazy enough too. I, I really do hope she does well. I wish her luck in the debates. I think it, it does make them interesting. So here's the map: three eight eight to one fifty. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to get me to 6,000, and hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me on social media and donate to my Patreon links in description. And thanks again for watching, guys. Red Eagle, out.